and singer-songwriters performing their original music. Tonight, we feature a very special edition of our song stage. It's singer-songwriter mashup with another Campus Jack's favorite, tribute bands. We call this Jack Song Stage Tribute Band Breakout Edition. Five musicians from a wide range of tribute and cover bands will perform their original songs and compositions. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe, smash that like button. You can also support our broadcast efforts by clicking the tip jar link in your description. Tonight's show is curated by founder and lead singer of one of our favorite tribute bands. Please welcome to Jack Song Stage from the world's number one Tom Petty tribute band, the Petty Breakers, Mr. Ozzy Mancinelli. So Ozzy, we want to know a little bit about how you curated tonight's event and selected the great artists that we're going to hear from. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I've had the great pleasure of working with uh, Josh Taylor uh, for quite some time. In fact, I think we met uh, over 14, 15 years ago. Um, speaking of tribute band breakout, we were doing a tribute to uh, Matchbox 20 at the time. And uh, we sort of uh, parted ways. We drifted uh, for a while. But uh, when I got the Petty Breakers thing going, I thought, you know, extremely talented lead guitarist, in addition to being a fantastic singer-songwriter. I said, you know, you should learn the catalog because you never know when I may need, you know, a backup. And uh, well, sure enough, um, after many years, and he would shed the material, learned it note for note, didn't hear from me for I don't know how many years. Then all of a sudden, he gets the call. <laughs> Can you do it next week? And sure enough, he, um, he managed to pull it together, and uh, he's been doing it uh, now for quite a while. So, and we thank him greatly for stepping up and doing that. So anyway, uh, fast forward to tonight. Uh, I think Tim is calling this appropriately the San Diego invasion because uh, these folks are all from San Diego. So uh, I reached out to Josh, and so he put uh, the whole program together, actually. Uh, so he'll be performing uh, solo tonight. He'll be performing with his wife, Sandy, and with a few other folks uh, with whom uh, they do a, 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 a different mashup of tributes. Also, they do Pink Floyd. They do Fleetwood Mac. Uh, they do uh, a yacht rock kind of a thing. And, of course, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers with the Petty Breakers. So in any event, um, what I'd like to do is introduce Josh as the first uh, performer tonight, and then he'll be introducing the rest of uh, his uh, his fantastic group of musicians and singer-songwriters. So, Josh Taylor, come on up. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Ozzy. And I want to give you a quick heads up. Tonight, as our artists come up to uh, the stage, we're going to be doing things Nashville style. And what that means is that everybody will come up and... All the artists will take the stage together performing their tunes. And as we go along, you'll get a, a brief video snapshot of who each of these performers are. And uh, let's get things started. Hey, hello, hello. Thank you for being here, y'all. Anyone want to BS while I tune? Buy me some time. You all look wonderful tonight. How are you guys doing? <laughs> this is a gorgeous crowd, for real. You guys are attentive. You care about music. It's good to see you. Thanks to Campus Jacks for having us tonight. What he said. What he said. <laughs> uh, can't wait for you guys to get to know everyone who's up here tonight. We're going to go ahead and just kind of launch right into music pretty quick. But we're going to take some time throughout our, our sets to, to talk a little bit about ourselves. and Because we are our own favorite subjects. So. Narcissists. Narcissists. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Joshua Taylor, and with me is Sandy King. This is my wife. Uh, she's in my solo project, and also we have a project called King Taylor Project, so we're going to be doing some songs from both of those projects tonight. This first song is one of mine called Untethered. <clears throat> Tethered out over the canyon Haven't been this way before No fellow free for me to stand in Nothing but the desert floor No 
family name to stake my claim on the last of my own life. No one to sing my song when I'm gone, saying stone lost to time. But I'm glad to stay away. Unfettered now, I throw my hand in chips for where they may. Like taking over from a stand in on an unfamiliar stage. If it's all the same to you. I'm just passing through I'll find my own way And you may not approve My muddy shoes But I'll be gone before you wake yeah. Thank you sad <laughs> I'm supposed to talk after I play music so uh, my introduction is a sad song my name is Alex Berg and thank you guys for having us tonight Something wrong, why didn't you tell me? Open up your mouth so I could clean up the mess. I know I can, but I wish I could help you to see that every time you cut me open, they'd all watch me bleed. Oh, for you, leave it. I'm glad I could be convenient I guess I'm glad I could kill some time But a stepping stone was all you needed It was never a plan for you and I if I did something wrong, why didn't you tell me? Open up your mouth so I could clean up the mess. I know I can, but I wish I could help you to see. Every time you cut me open, they'd all watch me bleed. Leaving was easier Loving me Stars fall from the sky Oh, for you. 
Thank you. All right. Uh, my name is Justin John Rodriguez. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, I'm going to do, me and Alex write real sad bastard songs, so I'm going to do the, the one more upbeat song that I kind of have. All right. Woke up this morning, well just afternoon I grabbed my boots and dragged myself from my tomb Everything's humming, my brain hurt the most Seems I'm communing with the Holy Ghost Whiskey and coffee, drink it all down Won't someone help me navigate, escape from this town See it's way too bright and I'm feeling low down Call me when the sun leaves town I pulled myself together I did what I could Walked to my truck across the neighborhood The streets smelled of poison And chemical smoke Slowly decaying with the death of I don't want to hunt while his legs hang down Will someone help me navigate escape from this town See it's way too bright and I'm feeling low down Call me when the sun leaves town Country paws ain't got city claws But a smart cat figures a way Down the old dirt road People still find time to pray And take what you can get And pay what you can Better to be taken than a taken man The city don't comfort And don't compromise They're Shooting its bullets in the starry eyes Praying for something But something's gone now Will someone help me navigate, escape from this town? See, it's way too bright and I'm feeling low down. Call me when the sun leaves town. Yeah, call me when the sun leaves town. Thank y'all. Nice. Um, I'm Josh Weinstein. Uh, nice of them to let me sit at the kids' table while they're. <laughs> it's a song called Queen of Coney Island. Motel eyes, fingernails on foul. Skin, she wears it like a pin.
even our section or segment we work a lot together as a vocal section <laughs> backing up artists live or in the studio so we're just kind of like always musical partners regardless of the nature of the project i'm the more active songwriter but we also have a project called king taylor project that we share songwriting duties for i got out of the navy in, in 2011 but as i was finishing at grad school uh i had sort of put my music into the part-time category. And I thought I was gonna go down this road uh, in marriage and family therapy. That's what I went to, to grad school for. Um, but I started, I got this audition for a, a Matchbox 20 tribute band in 2014. And Ozzy was the lead singer of that band. And you know, he had some some things came up uh, and he needed a sub. So I, I had been doing the run with the Petty Breakers from last August through you know, I've done all their shows since August. So, and in the meantime, you know, I've done Pink Floyd tribute. I've done Yacht Rock, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a major part of our working life. It keeps us working in music. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've done some of the same tributes. I've been in a Pink Floyd tribute, uh, yeah, same Yacht Rock stuff and Stevie Wonder thing, just as, for the same reasons, you know, to kind of supplement and continue singing and keep it fresh. <laughs> For the original stuff. Yeah. I personally actually don't mind my day job being music too. And that's how I look at tribute and, and cover music and working in function bands. It's such a study in well-written parts, how to be a good studio musician. It's, it's a form of school and it does inform songwriting. It does inform composition and arrangement. So to me, the tribute thing and the covers thing is not, it's never been a dirty word or anything I've turned my nose up at. It's always been like a, a part of the education and the chance to get inside some just incredible music. <laughs> Trails of destruction lies in the sea your tales of obstruction it's always a mess on your side of the street i won't be anchored won't be chained to the deep i will fill up my lungs and the words on my tongue will be sweeter to speak so I'll take the high road I'll get the naturally Don't need to step on Nobody to elevate me 
won't run from my problems, but they won't swallow me. So I'll take the high road naturally. I walk the low road. I've been callous and cruel. And the words that I've spoken, they be empty and broken. I've, I've been, been a fool, fool. Yeah. I've learned the hard way. Ooh. You become what you feel. Ooh. And I refuse to be hateful. I will choose to be grateful for, for the love that, that is me. I'll take the high road. That's Sandy King on the vocals, y'all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to take a minute to say how important it is that you come out and support local music and how awesome it is of you to be here. So please give yourselves a round of applause, yeah. which is a great trick for me to get you clapping. <laughs> In fact, stand up while, yeah, you, yeah. while you clap. <laughs> while you're at it. <laughs> Throw us roses for yourselves, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to, I'm going to, take this opportunity to, to uh, segue a little bit into sharing what um, playing other people's music means to us. I guess I kind of covered it here. I don't know if I really need to repeat myself. But, uh, oh, I see what I did there. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah, I, I, it's kind of covered. I don't think I need to retread that. Anybody got any questions? I'll take questions. No, I'm just kidding. What's that? You were asleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, how'd it go? Yeah, for that. Um, but in some form or another, every, everyone who not only writes music but who performs professionally finds themselves in situations where they're performing music that they did not write, right? Sometimes that's uh, for a living, but also it's just because we all love music. So, of course, we all start off playing songs written by singer-songwriters that we love. Um, so, you know, it's a big part of your growth and your development. Uh, and I think it's really cool that a venue like this, with all of this sellable space, takes a night to present singer-songwriters up here doing their own music. Yeah. Um, we very, very much appreciate Campus Jacks for doing that and for realizing how important that is. Because in order to encourage the next round of iconic bands that are going to have tributes, <laughs> You need to encourage uh, the development of, of artists along the way. So thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you to Campus Jacks for doing this. Um, so now yeah. I'm going to do my version of High Road now. Okay, so Josh is going to cover what we just did. 
Um, so a little bit here, uh, Josh Weinstein is uh, part of, we're all actually part of several projects together. Some of them are uh, function bands, um, tribute bands, cover projects, all of that kind of thing. But we're also in each other's original projects, uh, which is another thing that playing music in any format does, is it brings together artists and introduces us to each other. And you find yourself playing guitar in somebody's uh, function band and you go, oh shit, man, you've got your own stuff. Maybe we should do something together. So it's a really cool way of meeting other musicians too. So this song, this is a song I wrote called She, You. It's from um, my last album, Unseen, which actually won two San Diego Music Awards last year. Um, thanks. This is about the farthest radius you can get away with saying that before nobody gives a shit. <laughs> An hour and a half yeah, I think yeah, yeah. we're close. We get past LA and you'll go like, San Diego's Music Award, and they're like, that's way somewhere else. But, um, but I, wrote, I actually wrote this song with, uh, with not just with, as a piano song. I don't play piano. Uh, I wrote the song not only as a piano song, but as a, with, with Josh Weinstein playing specifically in mind. So here it is. Uh, no, I'll start it. I'll start it. Yeah, we'll minimize his role here. Uh, shit, how's it start? You come in light of day Before a stone-faced crowd To cave my head in Right in front of everyone You crawl up in a knee Turn my organs out and leave me there to bleed out in the sun. You don't care how I'm doing, cause you're doing fine. And others' troubles only slow you down. Shovel while you put me in the ground. I went to shake it off. I try to scrape it off. It clings to me like sweat on satin sheets. And while I stumble through my day and try to tear my skin away, caked under my fingernails, the more. I claw, the worse it feels when they ask how I'm doing. I say doing fine. I'm smiling about a fight and need to scream. But you got a thing for making me sing while I beg you for the guillotine. Josh Weinstein, y'all. Settle down. Settle down, you guys. You guys got to cool it off over there a little bit. Yeah. Josh's are getting crazy. Uh, any Robin Ford fans out there? I figured this room would have some Robin Ford fans in it. 
You just robbed a, oh, Josh just robbed a Ford, is what he said. He wants me to make sure that you heard that no, joke so that you could admonish him for it appropriately. Uh, well, this song, this song is not a Robin Ford song, but it's inspired a little bit by a Robin Ford kind of Robin Ford escalate. Fascinating, right? Cool story. We're just going to do it. Here it is. Well, you move so quick and break this. Well, my next trick, I feel get this off my mind. And you left me sick and break this. On my way to to shit, I'm a mess. It's your way to And I can't go home Cause you're in my phone tonight Gotta act like I'm grown sometimes So I put it down Till I hear the sound of you ringing through my mind And I'd like to say I was cautious that I played it smart with my heart, but not this time. And now looking back, all I can do is laugh. Cause I had no chance. We've been hand in hand since the first day. Like a morning cup of coffee Like the rising sun on the dusty hardwood floor You can chase the shadows off of me I'm safely home in the place I've grown to trust. And the light you shine, it's a sacred kind. Thank you very much, y'all. I'm gonna hand it off to Mr. Alex Bergen now. I'm not flipping him off. <laughs> this guy is talented, man. Ooh, all three of you, man, Sandy, man, Josh, Josh Square. What can't y'all do? Uh, the first band I was ever part of. <laughs> I started in high school. Uh, the first band that I was ever a part of. I'm from Iowa, mind you. 
Uh, and the first band I was ever part of, I was 15 years old, and it was this band called Kilroy. And as you can probably guess, they played a ton of Styx covers. It was like, it was Styx and Leonard Skinner, which was a very uh, weird yeah, combo. Yeah. But they were all old drunk dudes, and they hired me to be their lead guitar player. And that was my, uh, that was my introduction to playing cover music. And then I was like, well, this is really cool, but I've got songs too. So, that, so I wrote my first song when I was 12. And at that point, you know, I was kind of nervous to play it out. And my first real gig was at a church. But that kind of evolved into like, oh, people really care about what I'm doing. And if people are listening to me, let me tell some, uh, let me tell some stories that are relevant and that are going to actually make people think about stuff in a way that maybe they're not apt to normally thinking. And so I, I've led a very difficult life. I, was, I had a rough childhood. I was in the Navy for 10 years, and uh, I, I've seen and done a lot of stuff in my young 30 years. <laughs> um, but because of everything that I've seen and done, I wanted to write stories that were real, and I, I'm not up here to be a fiction storyteller. And with that, one of them is actually gonna be featured on my record that I've got coming out this year. I don't want anybody to feel pressured or uh, obligated to tell my story. I wanna be the one to tell that. Yeah, I just feel like creating honest music is the most relevant way to actually get somewhere. And success doesn't always mean how much money do you have in the bank or how many people are following you on Instagram. It's like, okay, are people connecting with you at the end of the night? Yeah. Just kidding. Just, you're not allowed Come to do on, that. Duh. No, we can't do it. We can't do that. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good tonight? You guys tipping your staff? Hey, uh, I just want to give another big shout out to, uh, to Josh, um, to Ozzy, to Tim, to Campus Jackson, the staff for having us tonight. This is wonderful. This is seriously wonderful. Give yourselves a round of applause too for being here. It's great. Do it. No, for real, do it. I'm not going to play a damn note until you guys clap for yourselves. No. <laughs> um, so my name's Alex Bergen. Um, you heard a little bit about me there. I was, I, it was a good day. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna play you guys a song. Uh, if you guys like what you're hearing after this first song, we've got some merch over there, QR code. Um, if you don't wanna buy anything, the QR code is free, and I know you guys are on your phones frequently, so go ahead and do that. This is a, this is a tune that my buddy Justin's gonna sing with me. This is a song called Unpromised Land. Tired as needs. 
Thank you. I know this is being recorded for social media, so uh, you know, I just left my wife for two weeks for us to do this little tour, so that I dedicate that one to her, man. Aww. Yeah. 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 Yeah, clap for me. <laughs> That's for me. That's for Megan. That's for Megan. <laughs> That's for me. Oh, yeah. She's way better looking than me. So, <laughs> yeah, I leveled up, dude. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I just uh, I just had to write a bio or like a little description on a song that I've got coming out this Friday. Um, you know, like when you're submitting stuff to all the, you know, you're submitting to all these playlists and shit like that. You want to make it sound important and like, hey, man, this came for a real place. But this one, uh, this one actually did. Um, I, I've got a, a seven-year-old son. His name is Benjamin. I named him that so I could tattoo his name on my knuckles. Um, <laughs> But he's, uh, he's my best friend in the whole world, man. And I, and I think the, the coolest thing about being a father and being a musician is you get to kind of share that with... It's, it's really interesting. It's a fine line. Like, I don't want to force it on him, but I want him to be around it. And the dude's favorite band is Kiss. You know, we're going, we got pit tickets to go see the Foo Fighters this summer. Yeah. And uh, he just thought it was really cool when I wrote this song about him. And he's like, hey, Daddy, can I write out the title for the album cover? So um, now this is where I'm using my methods. If you guys want to go ahead and scan that QR code over there. Uh, you'll be able to see the album cover. It's going to be on Spotify. It goes live this Friday. Um, but this is a tune called uh, Strong Heart. And uh, I'm going to try to remember how to play it because this is only the second time I've ever played it live. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, for real. Yeah, man. 
let's raise them to be good, strong men and to have a heart to. He came in through the back door with tears in his eyes. Said a boy, he pushed him over. So I brought him up some ice cream Said, son, listen to me This world will try to hurt you Don't allow the defeat Let's not hide them from the truth, the good, the bad, the scary too. And let's raise them to be good, strong men and to have a heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man, uh, you should. I, I really can't wait for the world to hear that track. I've, I've got one of my good buddies, David Mills, playing pedal steel on there. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with him, you are familiar with Jelly Roll. And he's done a few songs with Jelly Roll, so that's pretty freaking cool. He's hanging out with the little dudes. Um, uh, you played a cover song, right? Am I allowed to do that? What was it? Oh, I thought that was. Da that's how good his fucking songs are. <laughs> Shit, man. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that then. Um, <laughs> but I will, I, I will brag myself up a bit if that's cool for just a second. Um, huh? Oh, th I'm proud of you. Come on. There we go, man. Let's do shots. <laughs> no, I, I, am really I am really proud of this. Uh, so my, my wife and I, we have a band together as well called The Wellsprings. And uh, yeah, yeah. Th if you guys like love songs and... Harmony, like I can't harmonize for shit, but my wife can harmonize with a lawnmower. It's pretty Woo! fascinating. <laughs> it's wild, so I married her to get famous. You know? um, but this is my second tour of the year. I'm doing this on the solo, but in January, Megan and I went out to uh, Austin and back. And my favorite songwriter, I'm telling you, I've listened to this guy since his first record came out. We became friends, it's a long story. His name is David Ramirez. And uh, he's like, hey, after you guys have a show, why don't you come to the studio? I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And then we're in the studio. He's like, hey, why don't you guys sing on like every song we're working on today? And I'm like, shit. And then I was like, he's like, hey, do I need to pay you? I was like, no, just sing on my record. <laughs> so uh, uh, this record will be coming out at the end of the year. But this is a tune called One of the Regulars that Mr. David Ramirez is singing on. Uh, once again, using them to get famous. I'm 
tired of drinking, driving home and overthinking about everything in my life that I've pissed away. And I feel sorry for the tenders, gotta pull me up another. Listen to me, bitch, about my day. I guess I'll be one of the regulars And I'll be one of those guys With my name carved in a bar stool And the sadness in my eyes I can drop another to play the song I need to hear Hell, I'm upside down on everything to my name And I feel sorry for the tender that's got to pull me up another Listen to me, bitch, about my day I guess I'll be It never goes well out there So I stay in here I fit in with them And I like the beer There's nowhere on a Tuesday I'd rather be They make me feel like I'm the king of this bar It works out for me Ain't gotta walk too far And when I go home I rinse and repeat I guess I'll be My name's carved in a bar stool. My name carved in a bar stool. And the sadness in my eyes. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I've kind of lived a lot of lives, I've played in a lot of bands. Um, I had a band in the early 2000s that found mild success. We were on MTV2, we toured all over the world and all that stuff. It was really fun, but it wasn't exactly what I was super into songwriting wise. I had started writing country music while I was in that band. About 17 of those years are kind of my lost years when I was kind of going through a lot of things in my life. And uh, just about two years ago, I started writing again, picked up the guitar again, and really started going at it. I played in a band called Creature and the Woods that uh, did pretty well. I played bass and sang with uh, the main singer. Uh, I was in a relationship of eight years at the time that was falling apart. So I had plenty of material. I look at songwriting as I'm just telling stories, usually pulled from my life, which has been very storied in and of itself. You really have to believe in what you're doing and really want to do it for the love of it. Like I would have to do this regardless of if I was playing for people. I have to write songs, it's just what I do. So why not share them and see if, if maybe it connects for somebody here or there. People see through it when, when you're not making genuine, authentic art. I think like no matter what the medium, I think people see through that. People be, know if something makes them feel something. That freaks me out every time, man, I swear to God. <laughs> Thank you all very much.
Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet with the talking because I tend to talk too much. Um, this song is a bit of an older one of mine that um, me and Alex are on tour together right now. And uh, he's like my best friend in the world. We first met through, um, thank you. Love you. Uh, <laughs> love you too. We first met through uh, him hearing some of my stuff and we connected, played shows, what have you. And his son, Ben, is the raddest kid and this is his favorite song. So I always try to send it out to Alex and Ben. So yeah, the song's called Beneath Our Tree. Cool. 
tree where my true love now lies. Thank you all very much. I do three right now, is that right? Oh, yeah. So two more? Okay. Yes, just, just making sure. All right. Um, so, uh, excuse me. <laughs> so, uh, I recently nearly died, which it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Josh. Always looking out. Um, so I got two songs out of it. It was horrible, and luckily, you know, I had friends like this there who like supported me and uh, helped me on the long road of recovery. You know, after being in the hospital for like three months. Um, but yeah, these uh, these two songs. One of them's newer. The other one is out on all platforms, along with everything I've played, pretty much. But uh, the song's called Death's Door. <clears throat> there were days I drowned my sorrows From the moment I woke I would chase them down the bottle Till I choked but the tank was always empty I couldn't fill up all the holes Just an engine running hard until it's broke Wish I knew back then that I could find A way back from the past I chose And not get left behind just a fishing boat in a stormy sea With no one left to bury me I'm finding my way back to shore Cause I'm done knocking on this door All the nights down I am Ballroom, talking shit and throwing stones. Hold it tightly to the bar stool, drowning fast in this below. Waking up and feeling weary, cause every night was turning black. And when the lights come on, you can't just take it back. I wish I knew. Back then that I could find A way back from the paths I chose And not get left behind Just a fishing boat in a stormy sea With no one left to bury me Finding my way back to shore Cause I'm done knocking on this door Now I'm searching for an answer Like a child in grown man's clothes Asking only of the time and where it goes Guess I'll follow in the footsteps Of the ones that came before Only carry what I need and nothing more I wish I knew Back then that I could find A way back from the paths I chose And not get left behind Just a fishing boat in a stormy sea With no one left to bury me Finding my way back to shore Cause I'm done knocking on this door I'm done knocking on this door Thank you And now for another very depressing number <laughs> Get out of
out your hankies, it's fine. This one's really new, hopefully I remember how to play it. Take a page out of your book on that one. Told me I was lucky, saying I would be just fine with these shackles on my wrist on a cold December night. And the wind blew up so fiercely, yeah, I was frozen to the bone while I watched them tear apart my own home. I could have stayed and watched the candles burn. Could have run from every ghost that was forever haunting me Or just stand up, brush off the dust and face what I can't see If it could be worse, guess life's been good to me Always called me crazy Chasing something I can't find From the bottle to the needle Lord, I nearly lost my mind Taking cover from the thunders Yeah, I would sleep in velvet towns Never knowing if the next one would come could have stayed and watched the candles burn forever I could have run from every ghost that was forever haunting me Or just stand up, brush off the dust and face what I can't see If it could be worse, guess life's been good to me Three months since the reaper brought me to this hospital bed He'd already tried to kill me, so he sat with me instead And we spoke of all the good times, every dance that he had led Saying this one is the last before the end I could have stayed and watched the candles burn forever I could have run from every ghost that was forever haunting me Or just stand up, brush off the dust and face what I can't see If it could be worse, guess life's been good to me if it could be worse, guess life's been good to me. Thank you all very much. Oh man, buckle up. Okay, so when I moved to San Diego, I moved here to do a PhD in, uh, in music. And at the same time, I was freelancing as a musician. And when you're from outside the scene in San Diego, San Diego's got a crazy tribute band scene. It's, it's almost like the homegrown music form of, of San Diego. So the first real ongoing um, you know, music job I had as a freelancer in San Diego was as the in-house keyboard player for a, a tribute band booking agency called Music Zirconia. And I was in every new band that they started that needed keyboards. So I was in an uh, Elvis Costello band, an Oasis band, a Billy Idol band, Coldplay band, 
Um, and then I'm in, I'm the keyboard player for a band called Pink Floyd. And I also run a uh, Pink Floyd themed, I'm not gonna call it a tribute band. We do a, a night of Pink Floyd music with, different, with rotating singers a couple times a year. It's like a main stage group. Uh, oh, I was in a bread band. <laughs> Uh, and then I actually did some PhD work on tribute bands. That was the topic of my, yeah, exactly. So, so uh, yeah, little did you know, little did I know that you were gonna say that, and little did you know who you said it to. Uh, I, I came out for the PhD program, but I moved out as a composer and a songwriter, and you know, I did find, I needed and found a career as a sideman, so playing keys for sure. other people on sessions and doing gigs. Uh, because I'm a songwriter, I love playing people's original music. I love getting inside their head and figuring out what they would want to hear the piano do. You know, you know like trying right. to hear them as the creator, like what's the thing they didn't know this song wanted, you know, that, that right. a piano is going to do on there. First of all, as a player, tribute bands can be really beneficial as a player, because if I get to play like Steve Naive or like John right. Lord or, you know, like if, if I get to really go to school on these guys, that only makes me better for everybody, you know. And the idea of time travel, which is central to all music that we do, Music is about time. Music is about the control of time. We control your time when we play music. We, 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 music is a time art, and it's how we decide how you're going to experience the next few minutes or hours. And tribute bands are the ultimate time travel machine, ultimate control of time. For that period of time, you get to be 25, just like you said, and watch a band that you loved in their prime, even though that band is now 70 year olds, you get to watch them in their prime for an hour and a half. And uh, that, that really fascinates me, that idea. I just put out an album, it's 84 minutes long, 24 songs, and in my head, it was a movie. The way I describe it is that it's a novel told in poems, in, and it's the, it's the movie version of a novel told in poems through song. The question that's always in my head as I'm writing a song is where is this? Who is this person and where is this song? What just happened that made this song have to exist? Some, something that just exploded, some expectation that just exploded between what you thought was and what turned out to be, and that we've hit the crux point in that, the breaking point, and that's why the song had to exist. The earth broke open, and the lava that came out was this song. There it is. There's the lava. That's my time, folks. Thank you very much. <laughs> my name's Josh. Thank you for uh, sitting here. And... Um, uh, it, it is absolutely true that people's original, you know, I would say my, my kink is people's original music. And so to get to hear, you know, Josh and Alex and Justin literally front row uh, has been great. And to get, uh, thank you, Tim, for bringing us here. And uh, th I just had this thought literally while, that, while I was trying to ignore myself on screen. Uh, some people will ask you um, or they'll assume that you write songs to get famous. And... The fact is that we write songs to play them in a room like this for people like you who sit and listen the way you're doing. So I really want to thank you for this. Thank you. <clears throat> Unless you're a saxophone player, then you write songs to get late. Uh, this is a song called... Uh, Jesus of Neverland, it's off that 84-minute album that I just promoted. I didn't know I was going to be promoting on screen, but I did. I've got, uh, I, released a, uh, I released it in, like, book form. You, you, the, everybody else has got really beautiful professional uh, swag stations over there. I've got, a f like, uh, on the left side of the table. So go back and to the left. It's like the Kennedy assassination. And you'll see, like, four, uh, like, books... <laughs> Uh, like arrayed, you know, beautifully. You're, you're going to compliment me on how beautifully I, I put those four <laughs> books down there. And if you want to buy one, uh, come to me and do that. It's got a download code on the back. You can go to my website and download the album. This is called Jesus of Neverland. And when she lies, she leaves you reeling. And when she... I've got to turn that, that phaser off, sorry. <laughs> and when she lies, she leaves you reeling. And when she's caught, she condescends And when she's high, she calls her friends And when she's not, the evening ends Work my fingers till they're bleeding Every hour, every day Just to try and make my way And leave something more than Check one, two on a microphone 
flat five fools and a broken home like Jesus of Neverland. Three sets more and the day is done. Save some fire for the next one like Jesus of Neverland. There's a roof above my ceiling Street outside my door Earth beneath my floor I am not special Still I can't escape the feeling We was bound for something more That was long before All this Check one, two on a microphone Twelve bar tools and a ghost at home Like Jesus of Neverland Two sets more and the day is done Save some fire for the next one Like Jesus of Neverland Well the heart only knows beating and the head only turns so far and the soul only sighs when it shines you on and it'll shine you on And when she lies, she leaves you reeling And when she's caught, she condescends And when she's high, she calls her friends And when she's not, the evening ends Thank you. Thank you. That's called Jesus of Neverland, and for a little while it was the name of it was going to be the name of the of the album that's actually called Mind the Gap. And uh, uh, Mind the Gap is a is a phrase they use in uh, like New York and London for the for the subways or the tube if you're in London, <laughs> and it means to watch your step as you get on the subway. Uh, uh, I did move out here in 2009 to San Diego. I had just released an album that was doing actually pretty good at the time. And uh, a couple of years went by, and a couple of years went by, and I got divorced and moved out, and did, you know, a whole bunch of uh, little building blocks of life added up. One day I turned around, and, and 2009 had been a very long time ago, and I hadn't put an album out in that time, or really done, um, you know, much, much performing or, or um, you know, acknowledging what I had only known to be before then, which was a, you know, a songwriter. And so, uh, I put this album together and after I finished all the, all the songs for it, I ended up writing some new songs. And the one I wrote after I thought I was done recording for the album, uh, is this one called Mind the Gap. And, uh, one day I realized that if you put an album out 14 years ago and then you put another one out 14 years later, Mind the Gap might be a pretty good name for that album. So <laughs> I sat at home and I put this song together and it ended up as the title track for the album. Miss my dad Miss who I was when I still had him I miss a world that has him too This life wears us out like shoes Oh I miss my room The dirty magazines and cartoons Miss having something just for me I miss the peace of my deceits Oh Oh Time is time and that's okay 
stays a while and drifts away. No one wants to live forever anyway. Anyway, life is lived in conversations, inside jokes and subway stations. Mind the gap and find a way. my chance Lost my invite to the dance Now I'm standing here in pants Empty cup and idle hands 